The pros and cons of living in Lima, Ohio. Number one, people call it a pro. I say it's whatever, but everybody says, Cupies, Lima, Ohio. Those two go together. Whatever, if I wanted a Cupie burger here where I'm at now, I could just go to Wendy's. But here go, here we go. So if you like my content, like and subscribe, and we've been talking about this. Anyways, you can't open carry in Lima, Ohio. That is a big con for me because I love my Glock 19. So I'm going to openly carry it. You have to get concealed. And gun charges are pretty high because people don't get the concealed or get it legal or whatnot. Anyways, that's a con. A pro may be the fact that there is an abundance of jobs. The con added to that is the fact that most of the jobs are only factory and uh, the little nursing uh, for like home, nursing homes, whatever, and gas stations and fast food. That's kind of like the four things you got. There's not a lot to do. This is a lot another con for Lima, Ohio. It is very boring. The nearest fun, you got to drive two hours to Columbus, Ohio, or maybe Toledo, but I don't think anything's fun about Toledo. Anyways... Those two, that's a lot of cons already, so let's try to talk a positive. Transportation. You can pretty much walk to any job in Lima. You can ride a bike to any job in Lima. And if you don't have a vehicle and you don't want to do those two things, there's a transit system you can ride the bus. That's cool. The Lima Mall used to be a pro, but it's kind of a con now that most of the stores there are closed. Malls are becoming obsolete. It is it's just, it's lame. A pro! Rent is dirt cheap, but you got to deal with the sirens, the raids, the shootings. It's constantly loud. So, I mean, you get what you pay for. Then again, here's another con. You got kids that go to the public school in Lima. There's no bus transportation. So, when it's cold, wet, snowing, whatever it is, they got to walk through it unless you're driving them to school. And if you got a job that interferes with them hours, you're going to have a hard time with transportation for your kids during the inclement weather. And then the Lima Police Department is God awful. Whether it's day or night or however you try to avoid it, you're going to get pulled over a few times a month and you don't even have to have a probable cause. You don't have to be driving crazy. They just do it to do it because they're bored. Like I said, the city is boring. So if we're bored, the cops are bored. So, you know, they need to make a quota. So they harass people and it just is what it is. So like if you do illegal stuff, I wouldn't be in Lima driving because they, they'll get you, boy. I swear, I, ain't, I don't do illegal stuff and I got pulled over several times and had to tell them I don't do illegal stuff. You see where you see I'm going here? So be careful driving in Lima. They'll pull you over for no reason and they're racially motivated. I'm not going to get into that, but they are definitely racially motivated on how they treat different people. And then if you happen to drive through Lima and say you get locked up, just know you might be sitting there for a minute because they are garbage. They are awful. They'll take forever to get to a court date. So please be careful, my guys, when driving through Lima. Lima is terrible. And don't let me get into the fact that once you get to know people and you get around people, if you want to stay for however amount of time, people get bored and you won't understand why people are trying to argue or fight with you. You could have done literally nothing and somebody to pick a fight with you. So be careful. These people are bored out their mind. If you're from a state where there's a lot to do, just know that in Lima, there is not a lot to do. So what they do is they fight. They get mad. They want to tussle. They want to fight on social media most of the time, but if you ever catch them in public, they might not say nothing. So actually, the pro is you might not have to worry about it. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm not saying that 100% of the city's trash. There's a lot of good people in it and a lot of great talent, but the, the majority of the fundamentals of our city is garbage. Now, if you need somewhere to, to get down for a little bit, stack up some cash, you know, rides up. Lime was the spot because everything's cheap and they got a lot of jobs. If you quit a job right now, like I said, you could get a job the same day. There's temp agencies all around the corner. The, you know, they they paying enough with a cheap enough rent that you could stack up some and get out. Because that's exactly what I did. 
if you ain't going to Lima for the short term, that's cool. That's awesome. You want to be there to raise your kids? I wouldn't. I lost way too many friends out here. I, it's just it's negative. It puts nothing but toxicity in your brain. It's a lot of hate when it comes to the actual people themselves. So if you're thinking about moving to Lima, short-term stack up some money, cool. Long-term, actually get to know people, get the hell out.